नमस्कार हूँ आदर्श वेलकम टू आदर्श एजुकेशन सोसायटी स्टैंडर्ड एट सब्जेक्ट साइंस चैप्टर सेवन कंजर्वेशन ऑफ प्लांट्स एंड एनिमल्स डियर स्टूडेंट्स व्हाट डू यू मीन बाय कंजर्वेशन कंजर्वेशन मीन्स प्रिजर्विंग और यू कैन से दैट प्रोटेक्टिंग ऑफ द प्लांट्स एंड plants and animals okay students see we will say, i will uh, read some of the text lines in this uh, okay introduction you know that here is given pehli and bujo had visited the forest along with their professor means uh, teacher or okay, professor college level you are saying professor they were eager to share their experiences with their classmates other children are in the class were eager to share their experiences of some of them had visited barapur bar barthpur century and some others have heard about kajringa national park lochavo wild life century great nicobar biosphere reserve and tiger reserve etc so dear students here one more question is asked what is the purpose of making national parks and wildlife sanctuaries and biosphere reserves this we will discuss one by one also now the first heading we will discuss deforestation and its causes see deforestation means what clearing of forests deforestation means clearing cutting of forests and using that land for other purpose and that land is using for other purpose so this is the first point of deforestation and its causes second point is deforestation leads to habitat loss for many animals so due to this it is leads to the habitat loss oh. loss in for many animals they lose their homes and then okay these are the deforestation with effect now next one is see the trees in the forest are cut for some of the purpose mentioned below so why the trees are cut for the main reason here in you are may mention below why the trees are cut first of all you see that procuring land for cultivation to get or to obtain the land for cultivating for cultivating the crops or plants or like this and second reason may be building houses and factories so for that they will cut the trees okay clear the forest and third aspect is making furniture or using the wood as a fuel so making furniture also or saving for nature using the wood as a fuel purpose and the fourth aspect is some natural cause of deforestation some natural cause of deforestation are see this is natural cause of deforestation forest fires you know that accidentally forest uh, will get uh, or got fire and the severe droughts that is the if there is no rain continuously due to this reason also the forest will be extinguished so these are the causes these are the causes trees in the forest are cut for some of the purposes of these are the reasons now next aspect will be the consequences of deforestation consequences the power to influence consequences means what the influence of the forestation the forestation increases in temperature level on the earth so how there is a deforestation what will happen what are the problems yes that's the problem is increase in the temperature level on the earth okay so temperature level increases it increases the level of carbon dioxide in the atmosphere see yes you know that when the carbon dioxide is uh, more and more the earth 
earth, you know, the earth is what we will do. Uh, due to the, you know that the earth is made up of atmosphere. Correct? The atmosphere, when carbon dioxide is there, they will make a greenhouse gases around the earth. So, the earth radiation or the earth, see, they are not allowing to escape, to walk. So, due to that, the earth atmosphere or the earth's temperature increases. Okay, it also increases, uh, okay, it increases the level of carbon dioxide in the atmosphere. The third aspect, it also increases the level of groundwater. So, due to the temperature, what happens? The groundwater level also they reduces. Okay, next one, rainfall and the fertility of the soil will decrease. See, rainfall also, if the, there is no forest, so rain, you know that rain is attract, trees are attracting the rain. So that's why rainfall and the fertility of the soil, fertility, the land fertile, or soil, you know that fertility means goodness of the soil will be decreasing. So there will be increased chances of natural calamities, natural disasters. There will be the increased chances of natural calamities, natural calamities or natural disasters such as floods and droughts. If there are no trees, you know that the trees are attracting the roots and this, and they will absorb the rain. Oh, okay. If there is no trees, the, you know that the plain land. So due to this, what will happen? The floods, droughts, droughts and there is no rain. If there is no rain, the land will dry. So these are the natural calamities will be, what you are saying? Increase us. Okay. Now, deforestation also leads to a decrease in the water holding capacity of the soil. See, dear students, due to the deforestation, Decrease in the water holding capacity. What will happen? Water holding capacity will be will be decreased. Will be decreased. So what will happen? The movement of the water from the soil surface into the ground is reduced. So due to this, the movement of water from the soil surface into the ground is reduced so there are floods. So that is why due to the deforestation flood also occurs. Okay, why? Because water holding capacity will be reduced. Okay, students. Now next one is the other properties of the soil like soil like nutrient content. See soil nutrient content texture, shape or size of the soil Size, uh, size of the soil, etc. also change because of the deforestation. See, due to the deforestation, soil nutrient content and as well as texture, uh, this also changes because of the deforestation. So these are all consequences of deforestation. The influence of the deforestation or or you are saying effect of deforestation. Now we will say global warming. See dear student, what do you mean by global warming? Global warming is the change of climate on a global level. See, global warming is the change of the climate on the global level. Globe, you know, global earth. So usually what will happen is average temperature increases. The temperature of the earth surface will be increasing. Okay. And here leading to melting point of ice caps in the port in the ports or in the polar regions, ice will be ice will be melting so that what will happen? It may be increasing the level of the water, flood and like this situation may arise. And due to the excessive pollution and deforestation causes global warming. So what happens? Excessive pollution as well as deforestation are the reason of the global warming. Okay, dear students, global warming 
see what will happen. You know, you know that the earth, do earth is the sun's atmosphere. See this, this is the and here you know that here atmospheric gases will be there, and here what will happen? Greenhouse gases will be there. Here greenhouse gases. So due to that, what will happen? The earth is the temperature increases, and the earth sink will not escape into oxygen. So due to this, so what will happen? The earth temperature go on increasing. So that will be we are saying the global warming. Okay, next one is cause of droughts. Cause of droughts. So why droughts occurs? The increase in the temperature of the earth disturb the water cycles. So due to the increase in the temperature of the earth disturb the water cycle and may reduce the rainfall. So what will happen? This will reduce the rainfall. So this could cause the Droughts. So, like this way, droughts will be occurring. Okay, students. Now you see that. What do you mean by desertification? So, what is desertification? When the fertile land gets converted into deserts. See, try to understand. When the fertile land gets converted, gets converted into deserts. This is called as Desertification, very important, very very important one. See, the question may ask, what do you mean by desertification? So you have to say the answer. When the fertile lands get converted into the deserts, this is called as desertification. Okay, students. So next year, deforestation is also responsible. See, due to the deforestation. For the change in the soil properties, you know that the soil properties will be changing. Soil texture also will be changing. So these are the possibilities of this. Uh, what the deforestation is also for changing the soil properties. So lesser number of trees will result into more soil erosion. Due to the lesser number of trees, what will happen? That will affect to the soil erosion. Soil erosion means what? The removal of the topsoil. The removal of the topsoil is called as soil erosion. The top of the soil will be removed. Okay. So nowadays, friends, the removal of the top layer of the soil will result into hard rocky layers. See, hey, due to the what will happen? Less number of trees. The removal of the top layer of the soil, the top side will be the result into the hard rocky layer, which is less fertile. You know that hard rocky layers are less fertile and humus also. Okay, humus means what? Decayed bodies of plants and animals. So if it is there, the plants will, the soil will become good. So here, due to the less fertile and humus, what will happen? The soil texture will be uh, deforestation happens. Okay, so these are the problems will be arising. Now, eventually, eventually means ultimately, the fertile land will be converted into deserts. So that the fertile land, the fertile land means what? The soil has the capacity to grow the plants. And crops, so these are the fertile land we have seen, will be converted into deserts. Okay, students. So now you got the idea now. So what do you so what what you learned, dear students? Deforestation and its causes, and consequences of deforestation. And what is deforestation? What do you mean by draws? Okay. Then what do you mean by desertification? Okay, these are the things you learnt today. Correct or not? So go through this. Uh, many important definitions will be there. And now, next video we'll discuss conservation of the forest and wildlife. Okay, biosphere. So these are the things we'll discuss in the next video.
Okay, students. Thank you. Bye bye. Thank you for joining us.